the last time we talked about Alexander Romanov, it was in a video I made about two months ago, where I went over quote unquote, the story of Romanov. Going over his draft year, his draft plus one, how things were really good in the World Juniors, and how he has become one of the more talked about Montreal Canadiens prospects. Well, today, let's talk a little bit more about Romanov, not necessarily in the same vein, but more in the vein of how he's actually going to impact the Canadiens in the near future, let's just say. Now, if you don't know who Alexander Romanov is, that's okay. Romanov is not somebody who has played in the NHL. He is a Montreal Canadiens prospect, meaning that he was drafted by the team a few years ago. He wasn't supposed to be as highly touted as he is today, but he is for a reason. Drafted in 2018 in the second round, Alexander Romanov was a player that people were kind of confused as to why he got drafted so early. But after a really good World Juniors tournament and a really good second season in the KHL, he's actually making himself known as one of the more valuable Montreal Canadiens prospects. Now, as a result, people know the hype. People understand what's going on with Romanov. And in fact, the impact that he makes at the NHL may be a little bit closer than we would have expected. Talk about this right here. Three days ago, Pierre Lebrun posts on Twitter. Montreal Canadiens general manager Mark Bergevin has met with Alexander Romanov today in Moscow. It was a positive meeting, although no decisions have been taken. The sense is that Romanov will wait until after the KHL season to make his final decision as to whether or not he will make the NHL jump next season with the Habs. Then take a look at this other tweet right here. This is two days ago. Romanov explained that his meeting with Mark Bergevin was successful. There is a decision to be made, but per source, there is a big chance that he could play in the NHL next season. So Alexander Romanov, it looks like he's coming soon. Coming real soon, coming as soon as next year. And as a young defenseman who was only 19 at the time of this recording, he will be 20 by the time the season wraps up. That's going to be huge. Now, you could have your questions and concerns as to whether or not Alexander Romanov is ready to handle the NHL, and that is a fair concern. But having a conversation like this where Bergevin is like, yeah, it went really great, and Romanov is like, yeah, it went really great, and the source is claiming that there's a big chance he comes over to the NHL next year, that in itself is really, really exciting. So, assume Romanov finishes off the KHL season and he comes to the NHL next year, what do the Habs get? What are they getting with this young, soon-to-be 20-year-old defenseman playing out of Russia and who isn't really getting all too many points? Because if you take a look at it right here, Alexander Romanov last year in the KHL had 4 points in 43 games played. This year, he's got 4 points in 32 games played, so he really hasn't been producing. But that's okay, that's no cause for concern here, because he's playing for CSKA Moscow which is one of the best and richest teams in the KHL. As a young guy, it's really hard to crack that team. And as a young guy, it's really hard to play 40 plus games with that team. It's really hard to play 30 plus games with that team and get chances to succeed. Romanov has been playing the games, yeah, but he hasn't been getting the ice time. And that's kind of how it is in the KHL. There's a really big tough love kind of situation that goes on there where they don't play their rookies intentionally because they want to convince them to stay in the KHL. Something about the contracts being an instant cash bonus or whatever. It doesn't really work out in the rookies favor in the short term, but there is an enticement to having them stay in Russia because obviously if it were up to CSKA Moscow, no, they wouldn't want Romanov to leave. He's going to become really good. So that's how they see it. But from Romanov's perspective, it makes sense to want to make the jump to the best league in the world and be making that NHL salary soon down the line. 
because Alexander Romanov has been touted by Canadiens fans for years, ever since his draft. And it's looking towards a point where people are more excited than not excited for his debut with Montreal. Now, he hasn't been getting points, yeah, I know, but he has been getting points elsewhere. In fact, in the World Juniors last year, in his draft plus one year, Romanov got eight points in seven games played. He was the best defenseman at the World Juniors. He had the best plus minus in the tournament, and he made the all-star team. He had the most points among defensemen, and he had the most assists in the tournament in general. So Romanov last year, at the World Juniors in Vancouver really established a name for himself and really showed Canadians fans because, let's face it, Habs fans were watching the World Juniors. He showed all of those fans that he was legit. And I know World Junior success doesn't necessarily translate to guaranteed NHL potential, but it's certainly a good sign to have. Romanov was able to control the play with his aggressive and kind of domineering style of play. The guy would hit guys, he would take really aggressive offensive opportunities, and he kind of had this really bulldog style of mentality that he really unleashed in the tournament. Now obviously that hasn't come out to play in the KHL because ice time is limited and because he is playing against older guys, but Romanov against his own breed is really gosh darn good, and he's already one of the favorites to be a great producer at next year's World Juniors, and by next year, I mean it's literally coming up in a few months. So not necessarily next year, but within the next few weeks, obviously, you know what I'm talking about. But Romanov is a guy who is really raw, and as a result, this is kind of the mentality that people are hoping he brings to Montreal. Let's take a look at our Habs on Reddit and look at a comment section and a comment thread that talks about Romanov. Take a look at this. This is the post that we brought up earlier. Romanov explained his meeting with Bergevin as successful. Big chance he makes the NHL next season. Let's take a look at some of the comments here. This first comment comes over from a user with the name of Onzeblu. I watched his game against SKA two days ago, and he was easily knocked off the puck. Had poor board play, but he wasn't really noticeable because he had very low ice time. Minato is God replies, his hockey IQ concerns me. He's very mobile and decently strong, but he kills a lot of plays by taking low danger shots when there are better options available. This kind of goes with the point that I was talking about, saying that Romanov is a really raw defenseman who just goes at it 100% of the time. But then take a look at this comment here, I'm too cold for this blank, comments and he replies, yeah I think it was the Denmark game at the World Juniors where he scored on an absolute bomb and then later just kept spamming slap shots after. On the bright side, you couldn't handpick a better guy to help refine that than Shea Weber. I agree with that, that's a pretty good point. If you have a guy like Romanov who is really raw and who is just trying to go at it 100%, he is just trying to take slap shots over and over and over again and shove guys off of the puck and try to be really aggressive, there's no other better mentor to have than a guy who's probably the king of the modern day NHL slap shot on D. It's Shea Weber. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. And the rest of the comments on this thread and a few other Romanov threads talk about how everybody has really high hopes for Alex Romanov. Now that's not a surprise because Canadians fans are nuts about their prospects. I'm not going to pretend like all Canadians fans are super rational, but I will say that a very large majority do see Romanov as a good player down the line. But next year, if he comes in, What's the plan for Romanov? Is he automatically their best left-handed defenseman? Because if that's the case, then hey, there's no more need to trade for a Goss to spare. There's no more need to trade for a Martinez. But at the same time, something like that is not guaranteed at all. If it were up to me, if I were a betting man, I would say that Romanov probably has a little bit of a tough time transitioning to the NHL, but by the time he's 21 or 22, I think he'll probably be used to the league enough where we can call him a solidified top four guy, if not maybe even a top two guy, but top two is obviously such a high ask out of a guy who is only 20 right now, so we'll see. We will see what happens with Romanov, but for now it looks like he could be coming soon. Hope you enjoyed this video.
and bye. <laughs>